Former top advisor to former President Trump, Hope Hicks, interviewing with the January 6th committee today. A source familiar with the matter telling NBC News, Hicks left her job as counselor to the president six days after January 6th. The committee did not comment or give any additional details, and Hicks did not immediately respond to our request for comment. Hicks' attorney, a rather interview, comes just days after the January 6th committee subpoenaed the former president himself. Joining me now, NBC's Ryan Nobles on Capitol Hill. Ryan, I haven't said welcome to NBC, but we're glad you're with us. And the committee is continuing to go after Mr. Trump's inner circle. Hope Hicks was one of his closest confidants in the White House. What is the committee hoping to hear from her? Well, Tom, you point out uh, pretty appropriately that there are few people that are as close to the former President Donald Trump than Hope Hicks. She was someone uh, who was one of his earliest advisors uh, when he was considering a run for president back in 2015. Uh, she's been with him as a, a close inner uh, advisor uh, in his inner circle in the White House. She did leave the White House for a short period of time, but was there during this crucial period of time that the January 6th Select Committee is so interested in, and that's the period of time uh, between the 2020 election and January 6th, where they firmly believe that, that Donald Trump peddling false claims about the election is what led to all the violence and chaos here on January 6th. So much like they've done with many of these other close advisors uh, of the former president, they want to ask very specific questions about what Hope Hicks saw during that period of time as they build this case about what led to what happened on January 6th. Of course, the big question is, Tom, how forthcoming will Hope Hicks be? We've seen in the past when she's been asked tough questions by congressional investigators that she hasn't necessarily been that forthcoming. Tom. Well, you must be reading my questions because that was my next one. She did not answer questions when uh, she was asked to back in 2019. So do we think this is going to be any different this time? Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. Uh, you know, she, when she spoke uh, in front of uh, the Judiciary Committee, uh, she uh, invoked executive privilege through uh, much uh, of what was a very lengthy uh, question and answer period between members uh, of that committee. Now, the timing was different. She was a member of the administration at that time. She's no longer a member of the administration, but we've seen many of these other Trump advisors uh, still attempt to claim executive privilege long after uh, they no longer hold those positions. And it would stand to reason that Hicks may at least attempt to employ that on some level. The other thing to keep in mind here, Tom, is that she has a lot more bandwidth to try and challenge any attempt by the committee to legally extract information uh, from her, where some of these other uh, individuals who the committee went to very early on had a real risk of a criminal contempt charge against them just because the committee had more time to pursue that. You know, this committee's uh, time uh, as a, a legislative body could be coming to an end uh, with the pending November election. So uh, Hicks has a, a lot of room here uh, to, tr to try and stonewall the committee if she chooses. But the fact that she's there in front of them answering questions yeah. uh, is hopeful for the committee. We'll just have to see if anything amounts to it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.